everyone welcome back to my channel happy new year to you all this is the first video of this year i will definitely be doing loads more videos so i thought i'd record my birthday makeup look for you all so this is the look that i have created a really soft smoky eye if you're interested to find out how i created this makeup look then please keep on watching As you all already know, I love to start off with my brows first. So I'm just gonna grab my fluff up brow uh, from Benefit. This is a new product actually that they've launched and it is absolutely amazing. It's like a wax, it's got really nice ingredients in it and it just helps feather your brows upwards. Um, so yeah, I just really like it. And it's so easy to just use this product first and then go in with a pencil just to fill in any gaps that there are. So what you do is you just kind of comb your brows upwards. So if you like that feathery look, then this will be a really nice product for you. And to be honest, I feel like I use less brow product now because this makes my brows look really full. So actually you don't need much product, but just look at the difference between this brow and this brow already. Like it really makes a big difference. So I'm gonna use my Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line underneath the brow. I kind of focus only on the bottom to be honest. And then I'm just gonna fill in any gaps that need filling and I'm taking the pencil upwards help see where your gaps are as well which i think is quite handy slightly filling that in don't put too much pressure on the pencil because you don't want your brows looking that harsh So it will look something like that and they already look so much more fuller and then i'm just going to grab the brush at the end just to kind of make it a bit more natural looking so the harsh lines from the pencil now i'm gonna basically go on to my eyes so i'm gonna start concealing my eyes and i'm using my urban decay stay naked correcting concealer in 6wr and this is just a really nice shade for my um, eyelids. I feel like it just really neutralizes them. And yeah, it's not too light because um, sometimes I feel like I don't like it when it's too light. I like the color to be quite neutral. So we're just kind of going under the brow and around it to kind of create that shape. And then I'm just going to use the wand to colour the eyelid just like that who else finds this part really satisfying or is it just me I just find it so relaxing just putting concealer on I'm just going to grab a big brush like this so it's kind of flat but quite big and we're just going to pat that concealer into place on the eyelid. And you're just blending that all out into place. And you can already see it's just neutralised the eyelids completely. So it is set for us to put eyeshadow on. I'm going to now take some translucent powder. I use the same brush and we're just going to go over that concealer just to set it in place so we don't have that concealer moving. So just going to set that. I'm going to start with some eyeshadow and I'm going to use this Coloured Rain palette, the Queen of Hearts. And I'm going to start with this light brown shade in my crease. Just grab a big blending brush I start on the outer corners of the eyes and we're just gonna work our way inwards and we're just doing circular motions to blend this all out and you're literally just concentrating on the crease of our eye And 
And now I'm going to go in with a darker brown and that's this shade and I'm going to use this shade all over my eyelid. I'm going to grab a flat brush like this. So we're just going to pack that brown all over our eyelid. And at this point, this doesn't really have to be neat because we're going to go in and blend it out anyway. So don't worry about that. Don't worry if you've got fallout as well. We haven't done our base, so we can always go back and get a wipe and just clean up under that. It looks something like that. And then we're going to grab that same brush that we used in the crease. And we're just going to start blending this all out you know another really good trick if you want your eyeshadow quite pigmented is to use a stick eyeshadow um, before you put any of the powdered product on it really helps keep your eyeshadow on until you're happy so it's gonna look something like that i'm gonna grab this eyeshadow this like 3d glitter from urban decay and it's called diamond dog i'm not sure if they do this color still but it's really beautiful to add on top of eyeshadow so if you want that tiny bit of sparkle it's a beautiful shade to go for so i'm just gonna use my finger just on the top of the eye just all over the eyelid basically just to give that 3d effect i mean that looks so stunning okay now i'm gonna grab any black jet black eyeshadow and we're gonna run this on the top keep it really close to the line so it's almost like you're doing an eyeliner but you're just basically using eyeshadow and you're just following your eye Just keeping it really close to your lash line. So you can already see that it looks so much more smokier now compared to this eye. So I'm just going to quickly do this so eye. I've done the other eye. I've gone over with the black eyeshadow. But I also added some pencil eyeliner. I used the Benefit Bad Girl Bang pencil liner in my waterline and just kind of tight lined on the top as well i'm just going to grab a clean makeup wipe and we're just going to clean off under where we've got our fallout go in with some mascara and we're just going to stick some lashes on so i'm going to use the benefit magnetic mascara just gonna put some mascara on before we add our lashes so we've added mascara on don't worry about the bottom lashes yet. We can do that at the end. Okay, so I've got my lashes and I'm literally just going to place it on the eye. I'm just going to press it in. Just press your lashes with your natural lashes together. Kind of just pinching them together. lashes are on now and you can see that the look is coming together i'm gonna move on to my base now and i'm gonna grab my bobby brown enriched face base cream of this cream so much it's just such a nice cream for a base so just popping it all over go in with my pore professional primer from benefit and we're just going to add it on our t-zone area just to minimize any pores or anything like that it would just kind of blur that skin out so long but i really like this product so i just like to put a bit on the nose and then a bit on the forehead as well and on the chin okay, i'm gonna add some of this giorgio armani fluid share highlighter and i'm just gonna add this on all of my face like a really nice glow can you see that just really nice and a glowy finish and now we're just gonna color correct a little bit because i have really dark circles under my eyes and i'm gonna use the bobby brown 
correcting serum and we're just going to pop a little bit under the eye actually we're popping a lot on because my under eyes are extremely bad I like to go around the nose area and a little bit around the mouth I'm going to grab that same brush that we used on the top of the eye um, when we were putting our concealer on and I'm just going to kind of pack this in. I'm going to use the Benefit Brightening Concealer and I'm going to go over all of those areas where we've just corrected. I'm using that same brush just to pack everywhere. Take my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation and this is in 6 Neutral and pop some of this on my beauty sponge. A little bit of this foundation goes a really, really long way. Just kind of like to dot everywhere before I actually start blending the product out. Such a good colour match. My skin looks so glowy as well. So you're kind of just bouncing that beauty blender in. Just pressing the product into the skin. under the chin and the neck as well because you don't want two different colours. I'm going to do a bit of cream contour so I'm going to use the Huda Beauty Contour and Bronze Cream in light and I'm going to put a little bit on the forehead. Um, and we're just going to take some down the nose as well. Whatever's left on the brush, I kind of like to take it just under the chin. I start blending this in because we don't want it to set quickly. So just keep blending. Always lift your contour upwards as well. So you don't want to kind of drag your contour downwards because you want the whole face to look lifted that's the whole purpose of the contour so i'm going to take this cream blush from inglot and this is in luminous rose it's such a beautiful color like honestly it's like the best blush i've ever come across and we're just going to take that with the same brush just over that just a little bit over where you've contoured top of the forehead and the bridge of the I'm nose. I'm going to go in with some concealer. I'm going to take my favourite concealer from Too Faced and this is in the shade Sand. I'm going to take it down a bit of the nose like that and we're going to take it under the eyes. And we're going to take it a little bit on the bridge of the nose like that bit on the forehead and the chin. I'm going to let that concealer kind of sit on the skin and I'm going to spray my face with this All Nighter Urban Decay Setting Spray. And this is just going to help set everything in place. So I'm just slowly kind of pressing the concealer in. Uh, just keep patting until you're happy with the way it is looking. Once all that is blended out, we're going to grab some powder. You can use a compact or translucent powder. I'm going to take some translucent powder on the sponge and we're just going to start packing this powder under the eye. So you're just baking under, if you want like a fuller look then it's always best to bake. Kind of taking it down the nose and then 
under the eye you see the difference just by adding that powder on like it's just really brightened the under eye area back to my eyes i'm just going to concentrate on the lower lash line and we're going to take that brown that we used and kind of smoke the lash line out a little bit and just gonna smoke that out just gonna keep taking the product backwards and forwards till you're happy with how it is looking just like that and you can see the difference how this eye is so smoky compared to this I'll eye. smoke the other eye out and i've added some mascara on the bottom lashes i'm just going to finish the base off with um some bronzer some blusher and some highlighter i'm going to use my tickle highlighter from benefit and we're just gonna pop such a nice glow i would advise you to get this because it's so nice right i'm gonna go off camera now i'm gonna add some lipstick and i'm gonna basically get ready do my hair and then i will come back to show you the end yeah. so i'm back i've basically changed i've added on this cute little dress from plt it's like a really nice blazer dress i've added on these earrings which are also from plt as well and yeah i've just finished my hair off i really hope that you enjoyed them creating this look with me subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video you can also follow us on our Instagram page because we do post a lot on there, which is at Sierra by London. If you have any inquiries for our services, drop us an email on info at Sierra by London.com and hope you all have a lovely year.